something happening in my ear. Hello and welcome to Jason. I hope you're well. Please remember to only listen to this podcast when you can safely close your eyes. And if you're watching on YouTube, watching a video, again, only watch it when you can safely close your eyes. And please subscribe. So... Ideally, before you continue to listen to this, make sure that you're comfortable. Whether it's lying on a bed, a supportive, comfortable bed, or maybe uh, reclining in a chair, laying down on a big sofa. Whatever is suitable for you, make sure that, you know, whatever you're sitting or lying on can support you safely in the event of falling asleep. So, today, we're all going to be a scarecrow. How about that? scarecrows together if you have an issue with scarecrows then I guess just turn this off and go and do something more interesting so the idea behind this is I'm always looking at different ways for the stress and the strain and the worries and the pain and whatever's going on in your body can just reduce and disappear and I was thinking uh, a version of yourself a version of myself that would naturally fall apart given the right circumstances such as a very windy day, very high winds, and as we already have the background sounds of the birds, and we're very, very close to fields where I am, surrounded by fields. So why not be a scarecrow? So all we need to do is go to that field in your mind. Maybe a place that you know. See the scarecrow standing up. And the scarecrow's not tied to anything. It's just leaning up against the post. It's free to move. Maybe it's wearing a hat. Maybe you're deciding to use the scare for a crow from the Wizard of Oz. Or my Michael Jackson's version of the scarecrow in The Wiz. Brilliant musical scene if you ever fancy checking it out on YouTube uh, with the scarecrow and the crows so all you need to do now is just step inside the body of the scarecrow in your mind and just be there notice it may feel a bit weird 
in the sounds of the birds and any other activity traffic in the background maybe trains maybe planes in the distance there's Mr. Pigeon saying to the other we wouldn't have to waste this time every day if we just had a dishwasher like Mr and Mrs Robin next door So as we focus on being that scarecrow, everything's calm at the moment. It's a nice calm day, but you can feel all the different parts of your body. You start to notice a breeze on your face. turns into a, a soft wind and you've noticed that some of the straw in your arm is starting to blow away and you notice as this happens you become more relaxed for some reason you feel sleepier, more tired. And the wind continues and you notice that the wind is starting to blow some of that straw out of your legs. A quarter of the straw of your legs has now disappeared and blown. And you can see it making these clouds of straw just blowing in the distance. And your legs feel so tired. In fact, you can hardly feel them. You know they're there. But it's as if they just don't need any of your attention. You just want to go to sleep. Your shoulders, noticing your shoulders as the wind blows the straw out of your shoulders and your chest, 
blowing all the way through your chest, through your back, your upper back, blowing all that straw away into the distance. Relaxing that whole part of your body that used to be there is now sleeping. As that wind continues to circle, you can feel it across your face, blowing your jaw, and your jaw just disintegrates as the straw from your jaw, in your throat and your neck, starts to blow away, and you feel so relaxed and calm. that maybe in the past you've held a lot of tension and your hands now release and the straw blows away from your hands leaving your hands completely relaxed Distance becoming part. 
part of nature, becoming part of the 